Hunters. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moon Dancer. How you guys doing? This is challenge number four. And for this one, we're going to talk about trigger buttons. Now, trigger buttons are anything that sets your shadow self off. Like, uh, it could be a person. It could be an event. It could be something you see on TV. Uh, it could be something you hear, a song you hear. Anything that would kind of bring up something that your shadow self is holding inside. And, you know, because it's pent up memories. And events and things that like happened to us as a child so these trigger buttons could bring any of that up so that's what those are and then there's a thing called reset buttons those are just small things that you can do to re well basically reset whatever triggered you off and th that can range from an a, for a small activity whether you like to draw or you like to write or it could be a walk it could be a drink of or a cup of coffee um, it could be many different things uh, maybe a song maybe your favorite song and then you sang it that's, you know, like a song that makes you happy, makes you feel good. You know, when your trigger button goes off, you know, think about like that favorite song of yours and then start singing it in your head until you're, you know, you're happy again. You, you kind of get where I'm saying with that, you know. Or it could be as simple as petting a kitty cat. You don't like being manhandled. That's our Achilles. <laughs> He's a little turd. But, you know, just simple things like that. I mean, maybe you do have a pet. And something triggers you off, gets you upset. You know, play with your kitty cat or your puppy or your snake or your lizard. You know, anything that puts you back in a good mood. So, for this challenge, yeah, get those shadow work journals out. Jeez. I'm just joking. Those journals are... A really important thing to have when you're doing shadow work because you, those journals they they're yeah they're an important tool but in your shadow work journals I want you to make a list of your trigger buttons what different things you know set off your shadow self you know the raise bad memories or you know things like that and like I say it could be people it could be events it could be things you hear things you see any of that and then I want you to make a separate list of reset buttons things that you can do no matter how small to reset that trigger button and if you want to set it up that way you can do like have your trigger button list and then like right next to it have your reset button list and then have a reset button for each trigger button you could do it that way too you can do it any way you want to you know and I want you to make two copies of it one in your shadow work journal and one on just a little piece of paper, a little notebook, something that you can carry with you. And I want you to carry this on you everywhere you go, or at least try to. That way, if you're miles from home, or you're at school, or you're at work, at a friend's house, you know, you have that piece of paper. And you could pull that out, you know, if, if something triggers you and you're like, damn, what, what reset button did I have for that one? 
Well, then you can pull out that piece of paper, take a look at it, and there you go. And if you're in a place or in a position where you can't do what your reset button is, improvise. You know, come up with something close to it or <clears throat> similar. Like, um, say you wrote down... Uh, play with my animal, play with my pet, play with my puppy. Uh, to improvise that, uh, just think about your puppy. Think about memories you've had with them, you know, and think about his favorite, like, playtime activity, you know. Does, does he like to play fetch? Does, you know, things like that. But yeah, there's always ways you can improvise it. So that's the challenge is your trigger button list and your reset button list and two copies of it. One in your shadow work journal, one you can carry on you. And yes, I'm still playing with the kitty. He's biting me. <laughs> but uh, just to give you an idea, uh, some of my triggers is dad scenes in movies or TV shows, especially if the father dies. That's a huge, 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 huge trigger for me. Because as you guys have known, because I've mentioned it before in the past videos, you know, I lost my dad, and so that's a huge thing for me. And for a reset button for that, wow. Honestly, I just kind of have to cry it out. And... You know, usually at that time my husband's with me, he'll let me cry on his shoulder till I have it all cried out and, you know, he'll comfort me and, you know, then I'll be all better. So, that's kind of my, re that's kind of, you know, my reset button. Cry it out on my husband's shoulder. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, what's some other ones? Uh, anything to do with animals passing. I, I've lost too many pets that I've loved. And, you know, that hurts. And I guess a good reset button for that is to play with the ones I have now. Even though they're brats. They're brats. <laughs> and he is a brat. I'm telling you, he's spoiled rotten. He's not even, not even six months old yet, and he's already spoiled, like stinky butt over here. <laughs> but, you know, that brings me joy, you know. So, when I, when a memory, someone something triggers a memory of a pet I've lost, you know, I just love on the ones I have now. And I have too many. I may be an animal lover. <laughs> so that's this challenge I'm going to keep rambling on about animals so I'm going to put close this down I hope you I hope you guys like it and um, I hope you guys can figure out ways to reset your trigger buttons because those are what fuel our shadow selves so it's good to no ways to hit that reset. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I hope you guys stay tuned for challenge five. I had to think about what we were on. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to dance under the moon.